this one. I don't know about going to get Falco. Mostly because, like, even though Falco is slow, um, he is a character that is pretty good and bad. Uh, um, but, I don't know. I don't know these matchups like that. I'm starting off a battle for them. What do you think about stage? Oh, dude, as, as someone who secondaries Falco, I absolutely love the stage. Um, obviously, platforms heavily complement Falco because he can do the typical like active hop and could drag down near combos. Mm -hmm. But in this stage for particular, because he has that upper platform, uh, not only can he get some really nice combos, but also he can actually get really nice kills. Uh, there's one setup where he can do up tilt, full hop near on top flat, and he can just up throw up air on the top flat at like 60 and it'll kill somebody. It's by far one of Falco's best kill options. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, as you said as you said that, he almost did one of those uh, ladder combos on the platform. Um, seems like this has been a pretty close game uh, thus far. Oh, okay. Yeah, tell they, tell they like to do that. Uh, he, he likes to catch people, you know, overreaching a little bit on the side of the stage by wall jumping and throwing out like air or And that up smash out of shelf is pretty lethal post up. It's like your up smash? No, my up smash. Seems like every every patch they up every mid tier and high tier is up smash. Bro, it's not I gotta say, one thing I'm, I'm really proud of from Tilde's part is how he gets at a disadvantage. Um, he likes to do a lot of wall jumps, but he also likes to do a lot of air dodges, but they're very well-timed and well-angled air dodges. Mm -hmm. And they put the opponent's mind into like a little mix. They're not sure how to punish it. That's really good. Especially that up B clip there as well. Up B clip, perfect. Ooh, that's four, that's four, that's four, that's four. Um, I mean, up throw, excuse me. No, he utilizes, he utilizes the neutral Is this it? That's the kill confirm I was talking about. Wow, he did it. Okay. Yeah, but, like, yeah, that's crazy. But, like, what I was saying was, how he just utilized the neutral air dodge option. Um, like, you can get a lot of good trip up from the air dodge option, especially if you have a character that can get the air dodge the, the active hop up air since the drag down air is just he does it so fast and there's no room for air dodging. It's just beautiful. <laughs> Tell me about the face we did come with. Oh wow. <laughs> okay, so okay, those four tilts, those four tilts is something that he actually did um, in some of the previous sets. Um, he's forward tilting out of shield. He's kind of using it as like a warrior crown down tilt, where like he he, want, he at late percent will throw out the forward tilt and put them in a tumble situation, right? And put them in a type two situation where like if you roll you do tech in the wrong direction, he could kill you, right? Um, and like honestly, the option probably would be to roll away in that situation, right? Because Falco's a slow character, but like in some of those split second situations, you're not thinking that. You're just like, yo, bro, I need to go the ground. <laughs> yeah, and definitely. And also, like, in situations like that, if you roll away, there's, like, so much distance you have between yourself and Falco to a point where you almost can't get a punish. So, like, teching in place is technically the way to go, but at the same time, you're never going to really get those hard punishes. Yo, right here. Oh, my God. Yeah, right that's, here. Hey, man. That's your guy. That's, that's space Luigi stuff, man. That's your guy. You should be proud. That's my guy. <laughs> I love that kill stuff. Oof. <gasps> yeah, man. Um, and I think the VS, I like it, you know. I'm going to PS2. Um, and I just, I just think what Sensei needs to do oh my is, God. yeah, Sensei just right now, he just needs to take a breath, slow it down a little bit, right? Um, assess the situation, like, you know, you have to kind of assess what those moves If you keep jumping into Toe Bay, you just make it win. And, um... I think to get a little bit more patient. Like, right now, he's doing very well. Yeah, not being a panic option. I just had a couple of us right there. Pretty good stuff by us. So, like, one disadvantage of Falco that I think goes unheard is probably kill power. Um, Falco's kill power within like 50 to 100 percent range is really, really good. Once you get at that late percent range, you lose a lot of those up tilt uh, confirms. And so the best way to kill 
at very, very late percents is typically uh, down tilt or bear. Um, yeah. Typically, you want to go more for down tilt. Yeah. Yeah, and, you know, and with that being said, right, like, you know, it, it might seem that Sensei might not have that knowledge, right? Like, fishing for the kill, at, or the up get a shield off a, off a hit like that against Tilde, where you know Tilde's probably going to struggle to get a kill at 140%. You just kind of gave him free stock there in that situation where he probably didn't need to. He probably didn't take it and play the game with losing for first. Because VSS is not going to probably didn't get a play hit fashion to another one. Yeah, definitely. Could have played the game a little bit better. Um, Falco, you know, honestly, with all these tech chases with F tilt, I, I don't, I have no doubt in my mind that Tilde is always going to get that kill somehow. Um, he just has so many mix ups, like the F tilt mix ups, the right timing for the side piece. The ability to just navigate around grabs, the uh, prediction, and being able to get the back air, knowing that he was gonna let go of shield, like things like that. See right there. Okay. You know, I, I was uh, I was <laughs> praised for something that he did before he got killed. He actually prolonged side B on um, full day shield to like mix up his uh, shield timing, and uh, he got killed anyway. But I thought it was pretty nice. But like right now, full day is just not cool. I'm still in a lot of shock. He, he went in shield and he just shifted the shield up and down. That's like the legendary version of teabagging. There's, I've never seen that. I don't know, man. Oh, yeah, he's that's in this elevator. Oh, he's definitely fine. Um, but I think, okay, so I think it's this up. But one thing that he has to do. He doesn't steal stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So I feel like if he can steal the stuff, like sub 120%, he's in the chain. Yeah, for, for right? certain, for certain. So let's get the sense he can take the stock before he gets to get that, get that threshold. Uh, yeah. they, like, you don't need to do that. Like, yeah. and that's, like you said, Alpha's gonna struggle to kill it. Right? But even if you're down and you want to make a play, in that situation, you either kind of play the numbers game, right? Like, yeah, you're down, but how soft going to kill me right now? I'm faster than him. <laughs> what is he going to do to me, you know? Yeah. Um, I'm just amazed at how he's able to get these strings. Like, he's just barely able to get that drag down. He's barely able to get that up air. Like, there was a string earlier today where he had, uh, I believe his name's Gatsby. He had him on the Kalos platform, and he just barely got that roar bear and he just killed at like 60 or 70 so he just knows like the perfect perfect spacing but also like the perfect timing to to land these aerials because some of these aerials and tilt aren't even buffered some of them are actually timed mm. to yeah. to allow like his opponent to kind of be closer to him when he gets those aerials and those tilts and so like he just knows for sure like yeah i'm gonna up tilt you right here Gonna upper you right here. Oh, you're gonna di away. Bear dead. Yeah, he's very good at percent, percent and conditioning. Is uh, pair, is uh, opponents to be in certain positions where he wants them to be, right for certain combos to train. And I think like when it comes to the last set that Sensei played, he's gonna stick right now. And I think he probably needs to take a more um, slower approach to what he did previously, because in the last set he excelled at like speeding. He sped up his opponent, and he like spoke, like he just he took control of the game. The last game right i think in this situation he needs to just just stop and just literally just stop into the situation because right now Tilde's Tilde's the one to be but i think this next pick will do him do him well i'll say that yeah, definitely definitely you know honestly i think sensei snake is probably going to be able to probably able to get a deal with the, all these tilts and these attacks because in general i think snake is one of those characters where like Sometimes it's not only the fact that you don't have to approach, but also sometimes it's dangerous to even take one step towards Snake because all you really need to do is throw out that grenade, keep it on the ground, and that way the opponent is kind of forced in a situation where he has to jump, has to like constantly be on his toes. Uh, in Tilde's case, he's probably gonna have to throw that reflector a lot more. And it makes it so that now Falco is on the defensive end and Sensei is kind of on the camping end. Yeah, and that and it, can definitely be intimidating. Yeah, and it gives him a stop button, right? Where like VSS in that in that sense, right? He wasn't using his stop button. Now, since a stop button is grenade, 
like if your combos aren't tight or if there's a little bit of gap i'm gonna pull grenade frame one and you're gonna trade and i'm probably gonna win the trade all right so now we have to stop but through the form right now and right now he's doing a really good job Going to get the drag down there up tilt. Doesn't quite connect. Yeah, like, 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 Chelsea is getting his combos up at what cost? Yeah, I need to do a new kind of technique. He died. Is that the C4? Oh! Yeah, oh. He, got oh he got sticky twice. So he got sticky the first time when he was shielding on platform and he blew it up for covering. Then he got sticky again on the skin spot, on the platform. <laughs> Can we run, oh, back wow. run back both stickies? That was hilarious. See, that was the first sticky. It's the second sticky. He was shielding in the same position twice. Oh, wow. That's so cool. One. Oh, wait. Okay, that's the, uh, that's just still there. Okay. Oh, no. Yeah, no, he's sticky. That was funny. Oh, that's hilarious. So, like, I think now, now, we're gonna see. Can Tilde, can Tilde pull back a little bit and not try to go in, or is he gonna keep going in and get fucking traded? <laughs> you, you know what it is? You know what it is? I think Tilde just got so used to going forward and kind of pushing forward that he didn't really know when to just pause and be like, yeah, you know what? The snake is throwing out so much at me right now. I just need to stay here, stay put, and just throw out that reflector and fight his fire with his own fire. Um, so I think in this moment, now that he's on town, he has plenty of room to do that. He can just jump to his platforms. Obviously, the active pop combo is going to work really well on this stage. Um, right here. Nice. No. And um, just right there, well, he was on the town to the platform, he used the uh, reflector you were talking about before. Alright, um, I think a little bit more pressure would do as well. Especially when it comes to dealing with, like, grenades and sometimes the, um, uh, mortars. Yes, certainly. Also, how do you feel about this status of the stage? Like, right here, it's kind of like a mini FP in a way. How do you feel about that? Do you think that complements Snake more, or do you think that complements Snake? Um, uh, I'll be completely honest with you, I think in that, in that situation, it, in neutral, it complements um, it's an even matchup, but like once you go to the stage, that's definitely helps. Right? Like, there's there's no recovery mixed up. You can't recover to the platform on the side. Right? You have to, have to go to the ledge. You can't put recovery to the ledge. Such brilliant drag down fares. Coming with that into the down tilt, getting like 50. And he just, and he's tapped a couple early, right? Something that he didn't do last. I saw that happening in my head. <laughs> oh, he stuck at me. Oh my god. Oh, no. he stuck at me a long time ago. I thought that I thought that fell off. Oh my god. Oh man. Oh, that sticky for a minute, bro. Yeah, I thought it fell off. He doesn't stay on that long. Oh god, yeah. He needs to close. Yeah. That that sticky man. I think that sticky stick that saved his the the game for him. I'm not gonna say save the game, but that turned the tide. Um, but right now it's like they definitely just has an answer. And we're going into the FD phase. So right now, I have out with like a pretty high percentage goes on stage man, that could be a tough. Yes, certainly, certainly. I think at this point, Tilde just has to like calm down. He's like, you know what? You just got that random sticky, I just need to relax. But I don't think he's relaxing right now. He's just kind of going in with these drag downs. Ooh, what the hell did... What is that you try to do? I don't know what something you try to do. That's spooky. Okay, nice reflection. And this is why the plot from the brave part for Falco. Right, because in that situation, if it was FD, he probably would have been dead. 100%. Was that a, a lagless air dodge? He like did a full hop like air dodge. Was that, was that lagless? I'm not sure. Um, it's, it's the neutral air dodge that I was talking about before. Like, he, Falco, like, uh, totally does a very good job at using neutral air dodge and momentum shifting with it. You get a lot of good, pretty good. And it's pretty lagless, yeah. 
Oh, he passed. Ooh! Oh, that Ooh. was really good. Okay. He threw the Don't get it. Yeah, he right. threw yeah. the Yeah, oh. yeah so, um... I think, I think what he was expecting, right, um... I think Tobey was already holding away. Because if he put him in a down throw, down throw situation, he's like, okay, I'm gonna hold away. And he's like, ah, oh, you would've thought that's a DI mix up stupid. And he was holding <laughs> So, uh, good stuff, man, by Sensei. Like, holding on, too, and even with the adaptation by Tobey, um, Sensei held on towards the end of the game. What do you think? What do you think Tobey can do to, like, kind of turn the tide? Um, I would just say, so he has the right idea in mind, right? Like, he was staying patient. Honestly, I would just say, like, don't get hit by as many stupid stickies. Like, that's really what really made Sensei get the, the edge. All he did was land, like, sticky at around 80, get the advantage, and at that point, Tilde was like, oh, oh shit, like, I have to close out the stock, like, what do I do? And he, he just needs to make sure he doesn't put himself in a scenario like that again. Like, I think just sticking to his game plan, maintaining a safe approach at late percent is the way to go. Yeah, and that was definitely not a safe approach, so he really needs to be careful. And I, I have to say, something that Tobey hasn't done the whole set, he just threw out a whole bunch of losers. Right? He just yeah, threw out yeah. a whole bunch of losers. And that's something Tobey hasn't done this whole set. Throw out lasers, or even throw out the reflector. I think he should probably utilize that more. Sir. Sure. Good timing. He threw out a lot of bears, and he's like, you know what, you're gonna drift forward, just cover it with you. Oh, you on the platform. Oh, no, there is. Oh, I, I thought there was two. <laughs> I'm like, missed. what are you He probably missed. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> This dude's nasty. Yo, okay, that was really good. Um, he, uh, essentially tried to jump at him and bait out a reaction, where he was really only going to pick him. And then still a guy had enough time to go back up. That was cool stuff. Alright, okay. tech scenario, doesn't get much off of it. Holding that forward one, or holding that forward one help. I thought he was gonna Up tilt the bear? Nice! Oh no, oh, he came out swinging with his feet! <laughs> he died for that! <laughs> oh no! No, he was trying to call it a jump. I know he's trying to call it a jump out of the corner. But like, man, <laughs> what a time to do that. <laughs> oh wow, that was such brilliance from Tilde's part. Oh, what? Yeah, um, he, he pretty much lived because he went high. Pretty much why he lived. Okay, let's see how much percent he can get him if the Sensei tries to kill him. I'm surprised he's not doing any of these beer reverse grenades in disadvantage. Oh, I didn't believe you. Oh, didn't believe you. Right. got the portal. Oh! Yeah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Last stop situation. Okay. 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 Is that the percentage, that the percentage range where he could come back? Okay. Can you hear this off stage? <laughs> Dog! Oh my god! Dog, this dude is mad! He just hit him! Okay, can we talk about that? Okay, real quick. Real quick. Right, because the way Sensei was recovering really well. I'm just gonna say that first off, right? Sensei was recovering really well and he was mixing up his options really well. But the fact that. Tilde. Fast fell back onto the platform and then just down smash. Cause like there's a lot of room for error right there, right? Like you could do you could fast fall and then fall to the platform by acting like an idiot, right? Yeah. And you said, uh -huh, you thought I was gonna go for forward air, right? Nah. Oh, he did a whole split. He split him up. Damn. That was a great set. Great, great set, man. Like a sensing almost the reverse 3 -0. We can talk about that too. Almost with the reverse PO. Oh yeah, his snake was putting in work, and it makes you wonder, like, why did he lose? Or no, not why did he lose? Why did he kind of? I, I guess I will say, it. why did he like just go with the ZSS in this game? He could have just gone with the snake. Well, he would have had I, potential counter break advantage. Mm -hmm. No, I, I know because I know for a fact that he wants to practice the ZSS. Like, 
he he's using like the Wi-Fi as a means to practice. 